this is Brian from Hollis Farms today. Uh, got out the old GFC today. Uh, Y'all subscribers have been watching for a long time. Y'all saw us work on this truck last year. Old rig down at Squared Up Welding and Fabrication over near in Alabama. Put this custom bed on here for me. Uh, built the dog boxes. Rack over the top of the truck, you saw it there when I was walking by. I can I'll show it a little more later, but anyway, we headed back down to rigs today. You remember back, I think it's been back December last year. I took him a trailer that we had bought that utility trailer probably 30 years ago, uh, maybe longer than that, but it was kind of wore out. The axles were bent, it was hard on tires. Needed a lot of work, the floor needs to be replaced. So I brought it down here to Rick's and we kind of been kind of let it sit for a while. I didn't push him, I didn't need it in a hurry, and he finally got on it this summer. What we did, I refloored it. We added some uh, sides on the front half of the trailer that can be lowered down so you can load stuff from the side. We added a winch receiver tube on the front. Uh, came up with a little bit better way to mount the spare tire. New fender wells, new axles. I think we put two 5,000 pound axles on it. Maybe a little overkill, but I didn't want to be light. I uh, also put new wheels and tires, and we had new lights, everything. So, started with the basic frame of the trailer. It was a good trailer, heavy duty angle iron trailer. We kind of built it like we wanted it. So, um, he sprayed it with that uh, bed liner type material he's been doing all of our beds with you've seen the beds on jason's dodge trucks and uh, bumpers that rick builds he does everything I, boy, he can build anything you can draw him a picture of or show him a picture of be down to rick's here in a minute we'll get hooked up get it back to the house and i'll uh show you what he did for us it'll be pretty neat i'm anxious to see him. all right we made it back Rick don't live about 20 minutes from us. I got down there. He was headed out for the day. I got in and got it. Let me turn around and show you all the trailer here. I'm going to try to go back if I can. At the end of this video, I'll post a link to the first video we did back last December when we had the tra trailer. We got the floor off of it and had everything torn down, ready to go to him. But uh, let me show you here what we did. This is, uh, heck, I don't know how long it is. I guess it's about... Yeah, 16, yeah, 16 feet with a, like a two-foot dovetail. It was originally wood floor, just like most utility trailers, with two 3,500-pound axles, and it was a lot lower to the ground, uh, which was fine if you're hauling a car or a truck, but I don't know, I kind of like it raised up. What we did, we had to raise it up a little bit, add some tubing uh, between the angle iron and the axles here to raise it up to fit these two five thousand pound axles new fender wells uh new lights left the existing uh ramps under here they obviously they got the pin here and they'll slide out and hook here on the back they'll hook right over this angle iron went with the steel tread plate flooring instead of wood went to wor ever worry about that again might scratch a little bit every once in a while if you drag something across it, but this stuff's, this old stuff's pretty tough. Uh, one thing I learned from the last trailer we did, I, when, when we took the wood off of it and floored it like this, obviously it leaves the floor recessed down in the, around the frame, and it was trapping a lot of mud and stuff back here, so I thought about it the other day before Rick coated it, told him to cut us a couple of weep holes here, you see he notched out a hole here and here so we can at least spray it off or push the mud off or something. Let's see, and the main thing he did was uh, built these sides. The other trailer didn't have any sides at all, but he built these sides that could be lowered down. It's kind of nice if you go to the co-op or something to get some seed or some feed, pallet, anything. You really want to get it up in front of this front axle if you can, but you can't ever set it down over the side of the trailer. So had an idea to have him build these things where they can be lower they can either they can be lowered down and be flat haul something real wide 
You can lower them down and hook a ramp on it to load a four-wheeler. And you probably could even ride a range or crossways if you use the sides to make the trailer wider. But it'd really be nice when you go to the co-op and get a load of fertilizer or something, they can just load it from the side. I'll show you what we did here. You load it, got a this this undone here. Chains tight right now, let's see. Yo, hang on. Alright. He's got this spring loaded spring loaded chain here so when you pull it tight it can bounce a little bit, gives it a little play where nothing will break. You can drop this all the way down there. You hook your ramps up or load from there. You can at least get closer with a forklift with a pallet, set it over on there, or you can pull this thing up to level. And let's see. Let's see if I can do it. Hold this camera. I got my hand hung on it. Y'all hold on. Let me set this camera down. Hang on a second. And basically, what you do right here, you can. Pull it up to however level you want if you're gonna have something riding on it or whatever. Put your chain up here. There you go. Locks it down, gives you some gives you some extra width there. You can do it on both sides or one side, whatever you need to do. Put this little handy little tie down rail on top, you can tie two. Got some tie down points here on these fender braces too. Uh, stake pockets back here, hook a chain or strap too. Another thing he did, he never did you put a spare tire on here, but he fixed it up. A good place to keep it out of the way. He also added a receiver tube right here. We can either put a winch there. I've got one receiver tube that's got a hook on it or either a D ring. You could put you put the receiver hitch in there and have another tie down point. He also welded uh, D rings here on the inside. Can't have too many tie down points for sure. Well, Rick does a good job. I'm going to put a, uh, y'all can find him on Facebook. It's squared up welding and fabrication. SQ apostrophe D up. Squared up. If you're in our area here and, uh, East Mississippi, West Alabama. He's over in Pickens County. He can build anything. He's working on duck boats and duck blinds. I think he's fixing to do a um, service bed for a Toyota Tacoma. Going to be a sharp little rig. He can do anything. Y'all seen it. And while, I, while we're talking about what Rick can build, we'll look right here. He built this bed for me on this old GMC. I bought this truck new in 2001. It's a 2500 HD. Got the uh, buck stock bumper on the front. The tow mirrors on the side. He, Rick built the step rails too. Got the new Gladiator mud tires. Rick built this bed here, you'll see. Custom boxes on each side. A little utility box here. You put your boots in and different things, whatever you want to store in it too. It comes off there, it's just, it's just sitting there loose. He built this two-hole dog box, actually a three-hole. We originally had the middle of it for storage, but when I got another dog, I went ahead and added vents there too, made it a three-hole, so. Put the little rails around, custom fit for the Yeti, and put the top, put the rack on top. We can throw whatever if you need to throw decoys when you're going duck hunting or whatever up there, it just works. Makes a good looking little rig. Got the LED backup lights in the little pod here. LEDs recessed in the back for backup and blinkers, brake lights, blinkers, and tail lights here. That's the little recessed tinted marker lights right there. He does a heck of a job. Really makes that truck a lot more functional. Uh, I said I drove that truck a long time. It's got 320,000 miles on it. Well, that's going to wrap us up today. And 
I'm excited to go get this thing. Now we got a now we got a medium sized trailer. I got my little trailer and we got big trailers, but I needed this size we can use on the farm for hauling whatever. We appreciate you watching and come back again tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe.